friends I am finally making a video with my face after so long but if you don't know me I wanted to introduce myself my name is Chelsea Gomez and I am the artist known as oh you're so tough and I had cancer two times and I've been in remission knock on wood <laughs> since my stem cell transplant in 2020 so in this video I just want to talk just briefly about the expectations that society puts on you as a cancer patient and why you don't need to subscribe to that narrative. So with any piece of media you've seen about cancer, you probably see, you know, one of two things. Sometimes it's a really sad story, which gets a lot of clicks. And then number two, it's a really just like inspiring story, which gets a lot of clicks. So those are the main things that are highlighted in our society about cancer and that can make you know you when you're sick have a lot of pressure and a lot of anxiety to be living up to being inspirational brave strong keeping it together at all times when you really feel like falling apart on the inside and I, for one, know firsthand about this because when I was first sick in 2018, I pretended like everything was fine. I texted everyone back when they wanted updates. I wore the, you know, the team shirts. I fed into that because I thought that was the role that I really was supposed to have. But let me just tell you, that's not a great way to cope. <laughs> so when I was better and I went back to work, I really just wanted to pretend like cancer didn't exist. And I never had it. I never had any of it. I just wanted to be normal. I mean, who doesn't want to feel like they're normal, especially when you've gone through something like cancer. But I learned pretty quickly that that's not a great way of coping because it all hit me at one time that, oh my God, I had cancer before. Like, oh my God, like I just survived cancer. And, you know, feeling like I couldn't be authentic with how I really felt about cancer was also part of, you know, just like suppressing your feelings, suppressing the trauma of cancer, suppressing reality honestly and it's it's helpful maybe sometimes in the moment and maybe th that's something that if you're watching this and you have cancer you might think is good or you're doing even just not even trying to and I'm not gonna say like oh it's bad for you to do that I mean it's not it's not the best way to cope but I did it too so like I'm no judgment here but just wanting to tell you there is another way so when my cancer came back I was scared like obviously um, I went on some new treatments and I remember like distinctly that I didn't want to tell anyone all about everything anymore <laughs> I didn't feel like texting people back I didn't feel like pretending that I was okay I didn't feel like being brave I felt like this sucks and why is everyone pretending like I'm strong or I'm brave or I got this because I don't got this okay so that sort of feeling led me to you know if you look back like I think one of my first videos back on YouTube I was just like in the TJ Maxx parking lot having a mental um menti B at the time and I felt liberated by that video because it was just the reality. I wasn't trying to be a smiling, uh, you know, cancer patient on a billboard. I was just being myself and yeah, just sharing the reality. And so I went back into treatment and I didn't have a great outcome with the, the treatment that they put me on. Uh, so when, let me get a sip of my drink, hold on. Um, I'm trying to keep this video just not, I don't really need, want to edit it because, like I said, this is the reality. <laughs> Anyways, 
So I didn't have a great outcome. I was really scared that I wasn't gonna make it. That's just me being honest. Um, so I started thinking about like, what could I do that could be positive in this world if I don't make it? Like, what can I do for people who are in my position down the road? Like maybe they would find my video or something. And just really just was honest about everything. I said things that I'd never really saw anyone say online about cancer, like, you know, grieving your own death while you're still alive, feeling ungrateful to be here some days, feeling scared, feeling sad, not feeling brave, not feeling strong, feeling just at the lowest of lows. And by sharing these things, eventually, you know, through video and then also through art now, I found so much in that because I found a community of people who didn't feel brave, didn't feel strong, didn't feel any of these things, who felt like they couldn't tell anyone because it would be letting people down. And sure, there are people in our lives who are going to feel let down when they hear how we really feel. But the ones that really matter and the ones that are there for you are gonna love you irregardless of whether or not you keep up the facade of being positive all the time. They're going to love you no matter what. And I think that it's healing and it's healthy and it's good to let people in, even in those dark places, because we need people. It's hard to do all this on our own. It's not impossible, but it's really hard and it's easier when you have people who understand. And so, you know, I'm just really grateful for the types of communities that now exist online uh, in many different ways, chronic illness, you know, cancer, all types of things have these communities of people who they're like, you feel like this? I feel like this too, I see you, we see each other. And that is so important. And so I guess the whole point of this video is just for me to encourage you if you are going through a hard time, is that you don't have to pretend that it's not hard. <laughs> you just don't. And I know there's people out there who may watch this, they're like, I do feel brave, I do feel strong, I like calling myself a warrior, I like calling myself a fighter. And that is okay, that is completely valid. Everyone copes differently, but I don't want people to think that that's the only option. There are other options there are other valid ways of going through hard times that aren't about sunshine and rainbows. I am not an inherently negative person. I'm a very like, yes, let's do it. You know, like I'm a very happy person, but when something is upsetting or something is hurts or is scary, I don't think that it makes you any less to say that out loud. I think that it makes you more. And so just wanted to share that today. Um, if you do wanna see more of my art on these types of topics, I will put my link tree below. My username everywhere is oh you're so tough, so you can check it out. But yeah, I hope that this video reached somebody who needed to hear it. All right guys, see you in the next one.